Hey, hey, y'all. What's going on? Late night talk with Straight to the Truth. How's everything going tonight? I had a little bit of extra time, so I decided I wanted to get on here and chat with my people. What's going on? Is y'all seeing all the mess that's being talked about? Hold on one second. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? This is straight to the truth coming at you. Well, we get down to the truth of things that are going on out here in our everyday communities and even in the world. Ooh, we it is so much stuff out here going on with these YouTube streets. I don't know where to begin. Oh, my God. Everybody doing all right? I sure hope so. I need y'all to remember to go in and subscribe, like, and follow. And hit that bell that's up above there. So that way when I do post a new video, you'll be the first to know. Now, let's get to it. What y'all want to chat about tonight? I mean, we got so many things. There's the stuff going on with the prince and the princess, um, Megan, Kate, Prince William, Prince Henry. I just tuned in on a little bit of that today. I don't know what's going on. What are they saying? Um, Kate is missing. Kate is in the coma. Um, Kate went for surgery. Um, Prince William is flirting with other women. Um, what is really going on? Y'all probably know more than I do. And then there's the subject of P. Diddy, Jay-Z, Beyonce, um, Beyonce's sister, Sloan. Um, I mean, it is just so much going on out here. Y'all know what I mean. This is straight to the truth coming at you, where we get down to the nitty-gritty of all the gossip and all the mess that's going on out here in the world today. We deal with the local news and the long stream news. We deal with the stories that you're not gonna hear about on CNN, on channel, on Fox News, on channel 12 news. So in order to get the real story and the real truth, you got to come over here with straight to the truth. Come on, roll with your girl as we get straight to it. Straight to the truth. Here we are back at it. So first, I think we need to start and go in on this Miss Fanny Willis. The latest scam that has come out of her office is that she has admitted to having an affair with a married man. That's some sad shit. You are the district attorney of Fountain, Georgia. And you running around here acting like a loose cannon that can't get a man. The funny thing is, you were just a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago, on different talk shows as you were pleading your case of why you would be the best attorney for Fountain County, County Georgia. And in your statement and in your interview, you said that you would not lead an office that consists of employees having affairs. That you would not lead an office that consists of employees mishandling taxpayers' money. You said so much stuff to turn around 
and get into the office and get into that chair as the lead district attorney of Fountain, Georgia. And you do the same shit that you say you wouldn't do. Girl, bye. Now you sitting over there, you are like the laughing stock on these YouTube streets. You are like the laughing stock of Washington, D.C. Everybody is looking at you and saying, Lord, have mercy. You have pretty much killed your career. Who do you think is going to want to hire you? And now they're trying to bring charges against your whole team, your whole office. I hope the ding -a ling was worth it. Was it worth it, girl? Was it really worth it? Was it worth it? You did all this because of somebody else's husband. And look at you. And I don't even think it was you that admitted to it. It was him. Because that man said he ain't going to jail for you. And not only were you out here fooling around with a married man. Now you got to show what funds, what taxpayer money y'all mishandled. What taxpayer money y'all used to go on lavish trips and buy lavish gifts. What taxpayer's money did you pay him that amounts to almost a million dollars? Almost. For what work did he do to earn that type of money? Please explain. We'll wait when we truth seekers. Yes, we will. I mean, come on. Did you think that, did it not occur to you that going after Donald Trump, that he was going to have his people look into you? Now, all your business is going to come out. Because if they're going to ask your employees to testify, let's say the ones that you fired, the ones that no longer work for you, anything they know about you, baby girl, is going to come out. Let's keep it real. You're going down. You're going down, you're going down, baby. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't, you know. Because at the end of the day, this doesn't really fall on him. It falls on you. Hmm. You know, you wanted to be up there with the big dogs. Now you up there. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Let's talk about this Jay-Z crap. Mm, mm, mm. Jay-Z, Jay-Z. <laughs> so the word on the street is that, um, Jay-Z and Beyonce are no more together, that they have been split up for months. Lord, do y'all believe it or not? Go into the comments and let me know if y'all believe it. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. I mean, they both come together. I need y'all to put it together. Like. And subscribe subscribe and like let's get the channel up so anyway yeah the word on the street is that um jay-z had a um a pre-super bowl party yep and um all the a-list celebrities were there um the self one 
No, I'm not talking about P. Diddy. They said Beyonce wasn't there. They said that um she was in the hotel. She checked into the hotel with him, but she did not come to the party. What y'all think that means? Do y'all think that means that they're not together, that they're on bad terms, that they just putting on a show because they were at the Grammys and she was nominated and he won an award? What do y'all think is really going on? I mean, all these celebrities are being outed. Listen, come closer. Come here. These motherfuckers been acting out for years. Do y'all see what some of these celebrities had to go through to make it big and get that celebrity status to make money and get wealth and fame? Do you think it's worth it? Let me know. Would you go through some of this crap that these people are going through to get money? Go into the comments and let me know. Because I do read the comments. I mean, real business. Do you really think it's worth the fame and the celebrity status Cause some of these stuff that these people are going through, it's like, God damn, you know, I mean, Jay-Z, you've been a bad boy over the years. Yeah. The word is you like them young. Mm. I'm going to watch all my grandbabies. You won't get none of them. <laughs> Jay-Z, you won't get none of mine. <laughs> you heathen. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -mm. I tell you, the devil is hard at work, and it looks like he winning. Mm -mm. Some of y'all ain't got no shame out there. But anyway, back to um what I was saying. So, yeah, they said Jay-Z had a... um pre-Super Bowl party and all the A-listers were there. There was a couple of people trying to get in that's an A-lister but was not on the um, invite list. So they said if you weren't on that invite list don't even try it because you were going to get turned around at that door. And then they were saying there was supposed to be no cameras no recording keep your mouth closed if they even hear of anybody that was in that party running their mouth before, during, or even after, you would never ever be invited to anything else. Yep. <clears throat> so just imagine what was going on at some of those parties. <sighs> oh, I'm just joking. No, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a mess, hmm, you know, I wonder if Puffy was there, because it looks like everybody's trying to distance themselves away from him, mm-mm, yep, everybody's trying to distance themselves away from Puffy, they don't want to have anything to do with him. Sad, huh? Well, he made his bed. He got a lie in it. It's just that simple. You make your bed, you got a lie in it. Did you think you was going to get away with this shit forever? Hmm. Whoever the gatekeepers are that were protecting you, whatever you did to piss them off, they don't want to have nothing to do with you. They said, get, get out of here, get. Yeah, they said, get your black ass out of here. Hmm. And then I was reading somewhere that um, Beyonce's father is suing um, Jay-Z. And it has something to do with um, um, Blue Ivory being kidnapped when she was little. Like, you can't make this shit up. Where do y'all get all this from? <laughs> 
You know? Mm. You know, we gotta have a little something to drink here. A and W root beer the best. Okay. Anyway, um Yeah, it's a hot mess out here. You know? It's a hot mess. Every day it seems like it's something new coming out. Every day. I know I'm not the only one to see it. I know I'm not. Or hear about it. Hmm. Every day, there's some new scandal coming out. This social media is a bitch. Hmm. Yes, it is. But, um, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. <sighs> A Jay Z, B. From what they saying is, Jay Z is just as bad as R Kelly and um, P Diddy put together. He just ain't got caught up on his stuff yet. But what's that psychic name, Sarah Bella, whatever her name is? She said Jay Z's time is coming too. It's running out, and they saying that's why Beyonce um has moved out and distanced herself because she don't want to be a part of it. Because when they when Jay Z stuff start popping off, oh, it's gonna pop off. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, it is. It's going to pop off. Hmm. You know? It's crazy. Y'all just sit back and be ready. And they ain't through with, um,. They ain't through with Puffy. They sure enough are not. A brother love. They ain't through with him. Hmm. I saw some pictures. I know y'all don't see them. I'm not even trying to post them because they've been everywhere and I know everybody has seen them. But some of those pictures they um, posted of Puffy looking toe up from the flow up. Gray hair all around here. <laughs> oh boy. Mm -mm. It's enough to make you say, oh, ah, na 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 na. Yep, it's crazy. Hmm. Y'all gotta watch out. Watch your kids, watch your, your little young daughter. Because with people out there like Jay-Z and Puffy, our daughters are in danger. And our young boys. Hmm. Look at that boy. I can't remember his name. He was played an Empire on Empire. The one they said that um, Will Smith and Puffy groomed. Just messed that boy up for life. That boy had a good future. Instead of them older black men showing him the right way to go, they showed him something all right. I can't remember anybody. If you remember his name, put it in the comments. I can't remember his name, but I was I was reading about him today. You know? Sad. Mm-mm. We got to do better. You know? I want to ask Puffy, all that shit that he did to um, Cassie, how would he like somebody to do that stuff to his daughter? Would you like that, somebody to handle your daughter like that, Puffy? Puffy, Sean Combs, P. Diddy, Brother Love. If that was one of your daughters, one of the twins, would you like for somebody to handle them the way you handle Cassie? It's crazy. Ooh. And last but not least, we're going to talk about our sister Monique. I want to give Monique a shout out. Keep being your beautiful, wonderful self. Don't let nobody tear you down. Keep aiming. 
God has your back. Just know that. We are so proud of you. So proud. But yeah, it's just, it's a lot of mess going on out here. Um, it's a lot of mess. You know? I don't know what is going on with, um, Princess Kate and Prince, um, um, what's that damn boy's name? William. They said something about him, um, cheating and, and flirting with other women and stuff. And now all of a sudden, Kate has gone missing. Supposed to be in a coma, comatose. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know. We the media, we gonna find out. Yep. We gonna find out. Yeah. It's a lot going on. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. I'm gonna keep saying that and keep repeating that. I'm trying to go to ch grow the channel so I can start going live and really interact with y'all. You know, um, this this reporting that we're doing over here at Straight to the Truth is all allegedly. It's all for fun. We crack jokes. We laugh in between. But allegedly, we are not reporters. We are not um, detectives. We are just reporting on what we see out here in these YouTube streets. Um, that's what we're all about. We get down to the truth. We go by facts, allegedly. And... Um, a lot of our sources come from the news, so it is what it is. Uh, we're going to get ready to wind down this little live. I just wanted to get on here and discuss a couple of those little toxins because I was like, what the hell is going on now? Because now they're jumping from P. Diddy and they're starting on um, Jay-Z. Yep. It's crazy. You know? Um. It's crazy. You know? Only you, you, you see this mess happening among our people other celebrities of other nationalities you don't see them going through all this you don't see caucasian or white actor and actresses selling each other out going through this you don't see white or hispanic musicians and stuff going through this it's only our kind That are doing this going back and forth and tearing each other down. You know, once again, I want to give Monique a shout out for standing her ground and going the extra mile to get what she wants, to get what's owed to her. Keep on trucking, baby. Keep on trucking. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night and a good morning all at the same time. Remember, this is straight for the truth. Where we get down to the bottom of things and let the people know what the truth really is. Allegedly, y'all have a good night.